Welcome to our patient payments tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set payment split preferences and enter patient payments. If you would like more information, please visit our website, but for now, let's get started. Set up payment split preferences. The first thing that we want to do before entering any payments is just to set up our account module preferences. So to do that, we're going to go to the setup menu, then click on account. To start, we're not going to focus on absolutely everything that you see in this window. We're really mainly just going to focus on the, it says enforce valid pay splits. This can be set up to do the work of attaching payments directly to procedures for you, and it will make the process very simple. Under that enforce valid pay splits, you're going to have three options when we click on the drop down. Don't enforce. This option is going to allow you to enter payments to providers rather than for procedures. Enforce fully means that payments entered this way are automatically going to attach to procedures and then you can remove the recommended splits that it gives you manually or you can choose your own. Any manual splits you do, you'll have to enter and they'll have to be manually attached to the procedures. Auto splits only. This works similarly to the enforce fully option. In this case, the system will recommend splits and you can have the option of removing those manually if you wish. Now, they can also be attached to procedures directly, and if you don't want them to attach to procedures using that option, you can always attach the splits to a provider manually. We typically recommend using the auto split system, so it does most of the work for you. There's also a little checkbox here that says hide pay splits. That's in the payment window by default. I'm going to leave that box checked and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So now that I have my preferences set, I'm going to go ahead and I want to make sure that auto split only is selected. Now I'm just going to click OK to save those preferences. And now let's go ahead and get started on entering some patient payments. Entering patient payments. We're looking at the Kalpesh family. You can see on the right hand side, Ben has a balance, Serena has a balance, and Mary has a balance. I'm gonna go ahead and enter a payment for Ben. So on the upper left is our payment button. We'll just click that payment button and we'll be prompted to enter an amount. In this case, we'll say they're paying $300 today. There is a little box you can check that says prefer this patient. Use this if you want the splits to attach charges for this patient directly rather than choosing the oldest charge on the account. Now I'm going to check that box and I'm going to click OK. I can choose the type of payment if it was a cash or a credit card. And if I want to see how that money is allocated on the account, there's a little button on the left that says show splits with a drop down arrow. I'm just going to click there so I can see $49.99 was attached directly to Ben and the remaining $250.01 went to Dave since he was the next oldest balance on the account. This looks good to me, so I'm just going to click OK. Let's go ahead and enter one more. I'm going to choose Serena, and Serena has a $125 balance from a past visit. I'm just going to click my payment button, and let's say we are paying $125. I wanted to prefer Serena, even though that's a newer balance than just last week. So I'm going to check the box and I'm going to click OK. Again, if I want to see how that money was allocated, I can click on the drop down 
and I could see that everything was attached to Serena's last visit, totaling $125. I'm just going to click OK and accept it, and it's as simple as that. So that's going to be it for our patient payments tutorial. If you have any other questions, please call us on our support line at 800-845-9379, option 2. Or, you can send us an email at support at practice-web.com.